In this video, I'm going to share with you how to fix some of the most common problems we see with games when playing on these OLED TVs and monitors, especially if you open a next-gen game, okay? You're opening that today, <laughs> and this is next-gen, okay? Meaning that it might look good, you know, it's like on my country, you go to buy bread <laughs> and some people complain, hey, this bread is from yesterday. How can I get today's bread? They're going to tell you, come tomorrow. <laughs> okay, that's how it works. So, of course, we know how next gen games are looking. Let me tell you. When you watch a YouTube video about the Callisto Protocol, for example, this looks impressive. I have to say, this is probably the most realistic character I've ever seen on any game, okay? And it is really, really a big accomplishment for the developers. And then you watch another YouTube video of someone explaining you how fantastic the, the ray tracing of the game is, okay? And all the rendering details. And they're like, wow, man, I'm excited to play that on my OLED. And then you open it, and you're like, why is this looking so washed out, blurry, distorted, aliased? This is a mess. Okay, why? If this character looks so good and I have all this ray trace and all this thing, why is this looking so bad on my premium display? Okay, with perfect blacks, HDR. Isn't this supposed to look the best? <laughs> of course it is supposed to look, but remember, okay, this is next gen. You're playing today. Yeah, you have to keep that in mind. So you have to use a next-gen tool like Reshade with the Lilium shaders so you can fix that mess, okay? And of course, if you've been here for a while, you already know this, but I'm making this video celebrating 9,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Thank you very much. So if you are a newcomer, you need to know this, bro. Okay, if you are here, I welcome you, you have to know this. This is like the most important thing to know if you have an OLED display and you're playing modern AAA games. Because this is such a common issue that it's just mind blowing. Let me make this bigger here first so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here, let's take a look at this. Some before and after. So, you understand what I'm talking about. Look at this. Before, sorry, before, after. Before, it's just washed out. After. That's how it's supposed to look. Before, look at the HDR analysis tool. You see that gap? This is called black level race. It is going to destroy the contrast of the picture, even if you have an LCD, even if you have an LCD, this is going to reduce the picture quality. Contrast is the most important attribute for picture quality. HDD TV test. Okay, so I'm quoting him, and he's right. So if you reduce the contrast because you have a black level that is raised you are destroying the picture quality. So you don't want that. You want that black floor to be perfect, okay? So that's how you fix it. You're gonna fix it with reshade. So let me show you that. We're going to use all these shaders. Now, how you in install reshade? Very simple. Link in the description of the video. You just open that. You search where the game is installed and select the effects, the shaders that you want to install. 
So in this case, we're going to select these Lilium HDR shaders. That's what we're going to be using here to fix the HDR. And we are talking about HDR, but uh, SDR can also be fixed, and sometimes it is broken uh, in some games, like Black Myth Wukong, for example. <laughs> One of the next-gen games that we're getting today. So what are we going to do? We're going to use this Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix Shader. This is probably the best thing we have uh, for this OLED TVs and monitors because this is what's gonna fix that black level of rays that is absolutely terrible. This is the biggest problem here that we have to fix. So we can fix it with this HDR black floor fix shader. So now, how do we fix it? You turn it on and then you have to lower that black floor and the question is depending on the game how much are you going to lower this and it's not very difficult at all we're going to use this hdr analysis tool and we're going to look at this minimum value and here you can see the minimum value is like 0 0.34 so guess what that's what we're going to fix so we're going to type that in here 0.34 so where it says old black point you're gonna type in 0.34 and there you go that's going to fix that black level race of course you have to check the box that says enable um, uh, black floor lowering okay this is the tone mapping thing I also did it with the tone mapping I'm gonna show you that uh, next so this was not actually the black floor fix chain but here we do the same so we enable black floor lowering and we change that all black point to 0 0.34 and done so now the other thing you can do is you can change this roll off a stopping point which is default 10 nits you can change that and make it a smaller or bigger so what is that going to do? For example, if you use this fix that I share with you and you're like, oh yeah, it looks better, but I don't want the game to become dimmer. I like that it is more visible. Yeah, it looks washed out. So I want to remove that black level rays, but I still want to have this picture looking as bright as possible. Well, what you can do in that case is you can lower this from 10 nits, this roll off a stopping point, you can lower that from 10 to let's say one, for example. And if you do that, you are fixing the black uh, level and you're not losing as much brightness. You're still gonna lose brightness, but not as much. So you're losing less. So basically think about this as from one nit. So basically we're not gonna change anything from one and, and beyond. So we're gonna roll off starting at one nit and below. Now the thing is here, most of the scene is below um, you know, 10 nits actually. So if you use the 10 nits option, you're lowering everything so this is still going to look dimmer even if you use one nit because actually half of the th of the things here are below one nit so you still see everything being uh less bright but on a different scene you might not see any difference when using this so this is not going to make all the picture completely dark this is a very dark scene when you go to something that looks brighter on a different game maybe then you might not even notice any difference. But you are getting a better contrast, especially if you have an OLED. And I mean, everyone noticed that this game was looking washed out and it was even worse. <laughs> I believe they, they've tried to update it uh, to a more current gen. <laughs> it looks better today, but it's still broken. And this is the most 
updated version of the game. I got this free like two weeks ago from the Epic Games store, okay? So this is not like a Cuban old version that I have, okay? So that's the most important thing. But now the other thing that I would recommend is that you, when you see a game that's messed up like this on HDR, my recommendation is don't let the game to do any tone mapping. So what I'm talking about here is you go to the game menu and you see this HDR um, adjustment here. And the maximum is 4,000 nits. So you, you might say, okay, my TV, this LG C1, for example, I want 800 nits, so I'm just gonna lower this here to 800. Don't do that. And the reason is, for example, you lower this to 800, the game is outputting 1,000 nits. Why is that? Well, because it is messed up, so I don't trust anything from here. So I don't want the game to do any calibration, any brightness adjustment, nothing. Just leave it at default, and then use this Lilium's HDR tone mapping, okay? So you're gonna come here to this tone mapping shader, and you're going to enter here where it says maximum tone mapping brightness, you're going to enter here the maximum peak brightness that the game is trying to output. How do you know that? You're gonna use this HDR analysis tool. Let's turn off the tone mapping, so I, I'm not doing anything here. I'm gonna turn it off. And let's take a look at a highlight. So when we look at this highlight, which I am assuming that this is as bright as it gets on this game. And that might not be the case, but most likely, because I'm getting here 4,396 nits. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here and you're going to enter the maximum peak brightness that you see, which in this case, after more testing, I saw 4,585 nits. So you enter that here, and then here where it says target brightness, you're going to enter the brightness that your display needs depending on the tone mapping that your display is doing. So in this case, HGIG on my C1, I need 800 nits. But if you have a different display that needs 1000 or 1500, that's where you're going to enter here, and this target brightness. So you're gonna enter that. And my recommendation for the tone mapping method is to use BT2446 method A. And the reason, for example, in this game, when I use this BT2390, I am, use, I am losing the color saturation near black. So for example, take a look at these ropes here. Let me get this out of the way. When I use that tone mapping method, I am losing color. See, this is, no, this is no longer looking orange. I am losing that color here. This fire ex extinguisher is no longer looking red. So I see that issue. So I, that's why I don't like that method for this example. I've seen it working very well in other games, but I'm going to be in the lookout for this uh, limitation. But when I use this BT2446 method A, I actually keep the color saturation. Let me get this out of the way. Now before, after, see? Before, after. It's still looking orange, which is what I am looking for. I don't wanna lose you know, the creator's intent <laughs> near black. If, they, if it is orange, I want it to look orange. Okay, so then what else we have to do here? That's it, <laughs> there's nothing else to do in this case. I am getting exactly what I need. Uh, but you can experiment with this BD2390. It might be a different game where it works perfectly fine. And when you select that tone mapping method, you actually have this black, floor fix, like integrated with it. 
So you can actually fix the black level rays with just that shader. So you don't have to use the HDR black floor fix shader. So I'll give it a try. Now, it is very important the order that you're using here. And my recommendation is use first because this works one after the other. Use first the black floor fix shader. So for example, if I'm using this HDR analysis tool and I move this to the top, it doesn't know that I am lowering the black floor. It's not going to see this HDR black floor fix. I have to move it later so it sees that. So the HDR analysis tool, you want to use that as the last one. You want to use the black floor fix shader, then the tone mapping. And I'm also using here this Lilium's HDR contrast adaptive sharpening and you can tweak the values to get a little bit more sharpening on this very blurry games that we're getting today because unfortunately uh, we have these games with TAA that look absolutely horrendous in my opinion and the problem, the, the biggest problem I see is that you're getting all that blurriness and you are not fixing. In a lot of games, you are not fixing the aliasing because you have some elements that don't have enough pixels. So these developers are relying on TAA and then they are just having a lot of very low density uh, stuff. And you see all this flickering here, all, all this shimmering here. That is terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, and yeah, I if I'm going to get that shimmering anyway, I much rather turn off. And of course, this game you cannot change the settings from here. You you would have to go to the main menu. So let's do that because I want to show you. Um, if I'm going to get that anyway, I much rather just turn off. Um, just turn off that. Uh, upscaling and the TAA because it looks there. So I'm going to turn that off and no anti aliasing. Just to show you, it looks, ex look at the shimmering. It's terrible, but now <laughs> it's just really, really bad. But now the game looks so much better, man, so much more clean. So I wish these developers. And I wish the next gen was moving in this direction. Don't do this. Don't do this. The game looks very good after you fix all these things, which we shouldn't have to do so. But why they just don't fix that, man? If it is too demanding to put more pixels on this thing, just make it thicker. Change the design of this thing. I don't want to see shimmering. It looks horrendous. And TAA is not fixing it here, so it's it's just. I mean, if it wasn't because of that, this game's looking fantastic. If it wasn't because of these issues, this game looks very, very, very good. So it is a shame. So yeah. Oh, well, it is what it is. We fix what we, what we can, and this is happening more often than not. Unfortunate, unfortunately. Uh, even this this Star Wars game also has a black level race. You can use the same I, the same thing, and you can fix uh, all the games. It's that simple. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.